even smaller companies who are in the supply chain of these bigger companies are asked in these requests for proposals or RFPs about what, uh, how they're um, managing their waste and their energy. And, and it's all a bigger part of minimizing risks on behalf of those larger companies that they don't want to be exposed to scandal, basically. A lot of companies that we work with, we maintain an actual database. Um, a lot of times it's a simple Excel spreadsheet, but when, you, when these companies start getting these questions from their customers about how they're sourcing their materials, what their labor practices are, if they're recycling, if they have any solar energy, it's, it runs the gamut, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And so we create a database that has all of this information in there that they can pull from. And what we think is most interesting is you've got the RFI or the request for interest, and then you've got the RFP, and there's a lot of data that shows some companies aren't even getting the RFI because they aren't being transparent already, like on their website, and they aren't producing reports and they aren't sharing this, or as we like to say, opening the kimono, right? And so it's important for companies to realize how serious this is, even more so in some parts of the world than others.